think in a way it's good if your expectations aren't too high. You know, I think it uh, makes me more of an underdog. I was brought up like that, really. My dad always brought me up not to expect too much from life. I remember um, coming home from school one day and my dad said, would you rather Santa Claus didn't exist or your mum was dead? Uh, <laughs> what? what? What am I meant to say to that? Well, I'd rather Santa Claus didn't exist. Right, he said, good news. And there you are, you see. <laughs> I've, I've already got the impression that the Canadian worldview is quite similar to the British worldview, basically. This will probably be shit, but let's hope for the best. And I think, um, <laughs> you know, I think that's quite healthy. You're used to disappointments. It's just so many. Just even going shopping in Canada, there's disappointments. Everything's more expensive than they actually say it is. Now, we, this tax thing. And again, I'm a visitor to your country. You do whatever you like, but could you have a system where you have the price that the thing actually is? Uh, <laughs> OK, that's five dollars. Oh, no, it's not. It's five dollars. It's unbelievable. I don't want to know what the price would be in some other realm where tax has never been... I, it's amazing. Does everyone do this in Canada? Do beggars do this? Have you got a dollar? Yep, there's a dollar seventeen, please. Uh, <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, dear. Still, uh, you're, I, I was slightly worried that there might be a problem with understanding my accent, uh, I'm British, but I've got a slight Welsh accent as well. I think these days, I think we're all used to hearing, you know, accents from all around the world. Uh, South African, that's the one accent I find difficult to adjust to. I don't know if anyone, is anyone South African? Or oh, it's a very, the thing is the vowels are all the same. They don't really differentiate the vowels. So a word like, um, say, cigarettes, for example, a South African, a cigarettes, so it sounds like secrets, secrets. Secrets. It's very odd. I was with a South African. He said, give me one of your secrets. Can I have one of your secrets? Well, I once masturbated in the library. Will that do it? Yeah. Um. Oh, I, but I've found Canada so far very relaxing. You know, aside from the sort of uh, the stress of always having to pay more than I expected, it's been very pleasant. The security in Canada is amazingly slack. I've never, had, I've never entered a foreign country with so much ease. I came into Toronto Airport and I've been in the States, so I'm used to this neurotic level of security. I, I even have, I had my razor confiscated in an American airport. I, I loved it. Lovely razor. The Gillette Mac 3 razor. Yes, Wu is right. It's the, uh, as you'll know, it's supposedly the best a man can get. Uh, gone. I'll never know now. It's been confiscated because they said uh, in this American airport, this is a potential offensive weapon. And he pointed to this list. It's on this list of offensive weapons. A, a razor. He said you could cut the pilot's throat. But this is a Gillette Mac 3, the smoothest shave on the market. Uh, <laughs> You cannot even cut your own throat with this razor. <laughs> the worst that can happen to the pilot is he'll look ten years younger by the time I finish with him. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, but there, see there again, that's something which, uh, one thing I've really appreciated again about Canada is uh, the low level of pressure being put on you. For example, I had to buy a cell phone here just for the week, so all I wanted was the cheapest cell phone on offer. Of course, I, you know, but in Britain, there's so much pressure to buy expensive phones. This man in Britain tried to make me buy a phone in a shop, 400 pounds, right? 400 pounds, which in Canada is, oh, 10,000, I don't know. Uh, you know <laughs> and this guy was obsessed. This is an amazing phone, he said. You can do anything on this phone. You can download MTV clips. And I wasn't impressed. And he was really offended. What, are you not interested in watching TV on your phone? I was like, well, no, I have a TV. You know, I, um, I'm not interested in watching TV on my phone for the same reason I'm not interested in having a shit in my oven. You know what I mean? I, uh... <laughs> I have specific equipment for doing these different jobs. <laughs> Uh, he backed off pretty fast after that the conversation. That's a good way to end a conversation, I recommend that. <laughs> I'm married. I've got a wife. Um, yes, that's right. Yes, yes well, it's, clapping is patronising, I think. But, uh, yes. <laughs> well done, at last. No, she's a proper, she's a proper woman. Um, you know, it's, a, it's all fair and square. The, the one argument we've really had was over a toothbrush. Um, she's got this, uh, I know it sounds ridiculous, but she has an electric toothbrush, my wife. Really, you know, the most technologically advanced toothbrush. And mine is just a, uh, whatever you call a normal acoustic toothbrush. So it's really, um, uh, 
not every audience will laugh at a pun about oral hygiene. But, um, so I just wanted to borrow her toothbrush just once, you know, just to see what it's like. She was appalled. Oh, that's disgusting. That's been in my mouth. And, you know... <laughs> I, <laughs> I can't stop using everything on that basis. <laughs> oh dear. Well, this has been wonderful. I can see, my, uh, see why my grandfather, my grandfather moved to Canada. My granddad, my granddad loved Canada. Do you know, you may have heard of him, he's apparently quite famous here. My granddad once killed a bear, a grizzly bear, with just his hands. Um, I know, it was a bit lucky, to be fair. Uh, the bear was looking the other way and he pushed it over a cliff. So, so uh, it's more of a task. That's all from me. My name's Mark Watson. Thank you very much. Good night. Howie Mandel here saying thanks for watching and please click on subscribe, share, enjoy. Do it now. I'm waiting. <laughs>